Let's hear from Aaron Boone now. The manager's report brought to you by Geico about the win and Hap. Aaron, what made Hap so tough tonight? It's, I mean, just more of the same. It's, it's the arsenal. Um, you know, the, the life on the four seam fastballs, absolutely there. And, and about probably as good as it's been all year, even though he's been really good, obviously the last several, um, you know, but, it, but it's the two seam, it's the slider, it's the change up all mixing in. And, and, and I think that's been a common theme for our, all of our pitchers, all of our starting pitchers that have gone out there and just really used their entire arsenal really well. And um, I mean, he was terrific tonight. There's a lot of hype surrounding Garrett Cole, Davey Garcia, but just how much of an asset has Hap been over the last month? I mean, he's he's been so consistent and, you know, in some big spots for us too, where we've needed a, a not only a strong outing, but, but a deep out like tonight, you know, I mean, you know, a number of guys that we had down uh, in the pen probably tonight, you know, really needed some length and, you know, didn't necessarily count on eight, but he goes out there and was just so pitch efficient, um, kind of cruising, you know, got into a little bit of trouble there in, in the eighth, um, not all by his own doing there. And, and he just, he goes through and, 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 and gets strands of runner at third. So just a great job of executing all night long. Um, and he's, he's in a really good place on the mound right now. Does Frazier continue to impress you at the plate? He does. Um, you know, that's a ball I don't know if he's able to hit last year. I mean, that's a that's a big boy home run right there. In this ballpark on a cold night, and it's off the bat, and you, you know it's out. Um, his ability to drive the ball now the other way with power um, has been really, really impressive. And and, and their starter is not an easy draw for a right-handed hitter. And a uh, couple, couple big at-bats to get us going um, first two times up. And, yeah, it's just, just real quality at-bats. Let me take the next one from Molly Rivera. Um, hi, Aaron. You have been part of the Red Sox rivalry as a player. And now this is 12 straight wins, which is a fa franchise record. When you think about that, does it surprise you that this rivalry is so so one-sided right now? Yeah, I think it's, you know, I was asked that earlier. I, look, it's probably a little bit of fluky, a little aberration. You know, it, it's a collection of a few series where, you know, obviously, you know, they haven't quite been the same team this year with, with some of the guys they've lost and some of the guys, you know, and their pitching staff that they've lost due to injury. Um, and, and I think this year, I know we've played them at some times when we've been playing really well. We've, we've stolen a couple wins from them late, like last night and, and one back in, uh, in New York. And I think last year we, we caught them at a good time at the end of the year too, where, you know, we got a couple series from them. So, um, look, it's always fun beating those guys. You know, we obviously respect, you know, who they are and, and, and all the great games we've had to play against them. But, um, you know, <laughs> enjoy it while it lasts. And, of course, you just said it, winning. It's always about winning. But does baseball miss something when the Yankees-Red Sox rivalry is not, you know, that great rivalry? Um, I don't know. I mean, I, look, I, I, think, I think it's probably <clears> – <throat> uh, this is obviously a very unique year, um, and, and that rivalry can – can kick up at any time and uh you know th this is such a shortened season that the little winning streak that we have against them is i don't think it necessarily takes anything away from the rivalry moving forward